So today what I want you to do is start working on this next project which we're going to call Virtual Aquarium. And here are three good examples of what it would look like. I don't have these in a flash or swift file so you can just see them on this website here. Um, but basically um, you're going to have some requirements and then you choose kind of how it looks. Um, these three totally look different but they all have Obviously they have the water, which is blue, and there's, there's some sand in each one of them. Whether it is the sand of an aquarium, like in this one, or this one, or the middle one, the sand is on the beach, and then you see the, the uh, ocean behind it. Um, just, I, I guess I'm calling this one ocean because it's got a boat. I guess you could have a boat, an aquarium, but anyway. So you're going to need to have some water and some sand. So you're going to use blue and brown on your background layer to create that. In addition to those requirements, you're going to have at least one plant in your um, in your movie that will last the whole time. So obviously you're going to need your background, your sand, and your plants to stay still the entire time of your animation. Uh, this one has two plants, this one has a pink plant here, and this one has a plant down here. So you can choose how your plant looks. Then your next requirement is you're going to have at least four different moving objects. Those objects can be a school of fish, a boat, a shark, a spinning uh, starfish there, a mermaid, a crab that crawls back and forth, floating dinosaur, you saw that somewhere, any kind of sea creature is basically what it is. Now, let me put this out here. If you have a school of fish like that one or the one that's going to come up here in just a second, a school of fish is one item because they're all moving together. So that's one item, the crab is an item, the shark is an item. All right, so choose four different things, and when you create your item, you're going to create it with shapes or whatever, then you're going to need to make it a symbol. Now, you should remember how to do that. You group it, and then you right-click and convert to symbol, so it's part of your library. It will make it easier for you um, when you're ready to move it. All right, then in addition to that, once you've created all of your little objects, and then you're going to start animating them around. And you cannot just have all four items just swim straight across and that's it. If you notice in these examples, like that little fish swims back and forth, they actually bust out. If you want to do that, you can. Um, the starfish is spinning. The school of fish kind of goes and then they kind of float here for a little bit and go off. Um, they just, they all do different things. And they're all doing different things at different times. That's the way yours needs to be also. So we're not just going to see one go across, one right after the other. They're going to do some things. The crab kind of goes up and down and he walks along here until he gets eaten. All right, so that's the requirements there. Um, you're going to use frame by frame instruction. You can use motion guides. You can use shape tweens. You can use motion tweens. You can use anything that we've learned to create this. Um, so hopefully I've given you enough time now to watch these videos and kind of get the idea of what you're going to do. You're going to work on this today uh, and we'll see how long we need to, to continue working on it. Have fun!